Focus is an AI image generation app that's easy to use, even for casual, occasional users. If you have enough computer hardware, you can download Focus and run it locally for free. There are many videos here on YouTube for that. Or, you can pay for time, maybe 50 cents an hour, using rundiffusion.com. Or, if you just want to run it occasionally, for free, without hassle, use the Focus Collab Notebook. To find it, search the web for Fucus Collab, two words, where Fucus is spelled with three letter O's. In the search results, click the link to the Google Collab Fucus Notebook. When the notebook opens, click the Run button. You may see a warning saying it's not a Google Notebook. Click Run anyway. It may take a minute or two to load everything up. But eventually, you'll see a couple of links. Click the link that ends in .live. To use Focus to change an existing image, you'll use InPaint. Click Input Image. Click InPaint or OutPaint. Under Method, choose Modify Content. Drag in the image you want to change, or click to upload it. Scrub the area you want to change. You can adjust the brush size here. As you are highlighting, it's okay to go a little outside the boundaries. You can highlight a little, release the mouse button, highlight a little more. Click undo to undo your most recent scrub. Click remove all to start over. Under inpaint additional prompt, say what you want to put inside the highlight. There aren't any special magical words. Just say what you mean in your own words. For this I will tell it to dress me in a one-piece Olympic bathing suit. Next, click Advanced next to Input Image. On the Setting tab, choose Quality over Speed. Specify how many images you want. I usually do 4, but 8 or 12 can also be good. Under Negative Prompt, you can say what you don't want in the picture. Or just leave it blank. You can clear the random check mark to keep generated images looking similar to the original. Everything else is optional, and current set for best photo realism. So if you're not familiar with models and refiners and loris and such, don't worry about it. Just leave these settings as is. Click generate, and wait. It will take a minute or so to generate each picture. I'll speed it up so you don't have to wait. When the images all show, click any one image. Then use the thumbnails to cycle through. Use the download button to download any images you want to keep. That's pretty much it. But let's work through some examples with other images. Click remove image in the image you just scrubbed, then upload another image. When scrubbing, it's okay to just do part of a picture. For example, if you just want to change the pants, highlight only the pants. Or, you can highlight all clothing to change the whole outfit. For this one let's try. A shining chrome bodysuit. Click Generate, and wait. I'll speed it up, but again, it's just more of the same. Let's try a different image. This time I'll scrub everything, and even outside myself. That makes room for larger things like overcoats and full-length gowns. How about a full-length formal evening gown, sapphire blue, sequins, plunging neckline. Click Generate, and wait. It's the same as before. Wait for the images to generate. Then go through them, and download any you want to keep. Even though I'm only doing 4 images each time, Remember you can do 8 or 12 or more, so you have more options to choose from when it's done. I think you get the idea. But let's do one more. I'll scrub a really big area, and then put on a steampunk leather trench coat with steampunk adornments. Click Generate, and wait. Maybe I got a little carried away with the adornments. 
But remember, nothing is set in stone here. You can always just change the wording in the prompt to try a different image. If you're using Focus Colab, remember it's only free for a few hours per month. If you use too much, you will be blocked and forced to wait for up to 12 hours. So when you're done using Focus for the time being, to conserve your free time, close the tab in which you were working. Then click stop in the previous tab. If you can't get enough free time to accomplish what you need, rundiffusion.com may be the cheapest alternative resource for you. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please leave a like. Hope to see you around the internet. I'll say goodbye, but leave you with some outfit ideas, just to fuel your creativity.